Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Lesson 62. <laughs> Forgiveness is my function as the light of the world. So I am the light of the world and forgiveness is my function. Okay, it is your forgiveness that will bring the world of darkness to the light. It is your forgiveness that lets you recognize the light in which you see. Forgiveness is the demonstration that you are the light of the world. Through your forgiveness, does the truth about yourself return to your memory? Therefore, in your forgiveness lies your salvation. Illusions about yourself. Sorry, did you say something? No, no. no I, I, well, actually, you heard me. Um, I only said it in my mind. I didn't speak it through. Oh, wow. No, I heard you. Yeah, okay. All right. We might stop after this next uh, paragraph. because. Sure. Okay. Illusions about yourself and the world are one. That is why all forgiveness is a gift to yourself. Your goal is to find out who you are, having denied your identity by attacking creation and its creator. Now you are learning how to remember the truth. For this, attack must be replaced by forgiveness so that thoughts of life may replace thoughts of death. <laughs> okay. So good. Yeah, it's good. Um, let's unpack this a bit more because this can't be uh, repeated enough no. and that is that we're not forgiving somebody else mm -hmm. and we're not forgiving situations or experiences in the world we are not forgiving the body for um, seeming to attack us with pain or illness or aging or whatever it might be right right um because, you know, it doesn't work that way. Once, once we've made something real, the body, others, you know, conflict, relationship conflict, whatever it might be, once we've made it real, mm -hmm. we cannot forgive it. It's mm -hmm. impossible to forgive it. That's right. So what we're actually doing here is, is remembering that what's actually happening that we're tr what what we're triggered by is is actually not really happening in another person or outside of us or in the body. Right. It's it's it it is happening in one place only, and that is in the mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it's right. happening in the mind. The ego's getting its way, and we're saying yes. Mm -hmm. We're agreeing, and so the ego's projecting. What it has denied, which is its own um, belief that it's sinned because it's separated from God and our brothers, right? Mm -hmm. So it's projecting that unforgiven belief in sin outward as guilt. So it's projecting that outward. And that's why it seems that the body can attack us or other people can attack us and all of that. So we're actually forgiving um, just one thing, no matter what the problem seems to be. And it's it's our it's the ego's belief mm -hmm. that we're we've separated, right. and that we're sinful, and because we're sinful, we're going to be punished because we're guilty, and right. we're going to die, right? So I have this really great diagram I want to show you guys. Okay, it's called the gap diagram. <laughs> what is it? The fiftieth time we're on. Left. I know you guys have never seen this before, and I just want to introduce you to it. The only thing, you know, we start off forgiving problems, take any problem, any issue that the mythical me is having, and we start off forgiving that. And then we come, do we practice the forgiveness? We practice the forgiveness and we start to realize, wow, everything that I'm using, every trigger is there. So that mythical me, the body in the center has something to fret about, something to think about, something to talk about, something to try and fix, something to feel guilty about, right? You do enough forgiveness and you recognize Jesus comes to us and says, guys, 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 listen, listen, listen. You have one problem and one solution. So the only problem that you have is that you think that any of this is real. Forgiveness is this. I'm forgiving myself for believing that that was possible. That's it. I'm here at home dreaming of exile. And the only thing I'm forgiving is the sense and a belief that that was me 
and that everything I added to it was real. That's forgiveness. Especially the body part. You know, he talks about idols. You know, idols are replacements for God. The greatest idol that we have in the dream is that yeah. stick figure in the center. The, the whole this, idea that I'm a body. This is our God. And all the things that we added to it are the way that we defend the God that we made. Okay. And the other thing, too, that we've got, because we, okay, we've got a separate body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And each of us, yes, have a private mind. That's right. That, you know, that um, is it again addicted to its own self seeking agendas. So this private mind with its self-seeking agendas comes together, as you can see in that diagram, the yep. two split minds. Mm -hmm. That's the nature of all special relationships. Yes. Okay. And we agree to love each other or hang out with each other until one of our idols is threatened by the other. <laughs> and then we don't love them anymore. Love goes out the window. <laughs> okay. Right. Yes. But, you know, true love, a uh, uh, miracle buddy or a holy relationship says, I'm willing to do this with you. Just let our mind, let everything in that gap be forgiven, come back to our innocence, to our pre-belief of separation status so that we can know our innocence and joy and the peace of God and have the memory of God return to us. Yeah. So that's, that's forgiveness, guys. Thank and that's you. our function. That's all we can do here in this mythical realm is to forgive what's never been true. Mm, beautiful. You know, I just looking, I think two days ago at the, in the course, in the text at the laws of chaos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And the first law of chaos is the belief that the truth is different for everyone. Mm -hmm. My truth. Oh, it's yeah. different than yours and you wouldn't understand. No, I wouldn't understand because I have my own. <laughs> That's not going out on in the world today, is it, sis? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All this upheaval. Everybody has their version of the truth and they'll defend it <laughs> to death. <laughs> and all that's happening in the gap. Yes, the mythical gap. There could be no conflict with anybody at all if we didn't value the gap and especially the number one idol which is the body that's right yeah, yeah. all these different opinions to bolster different bodies yeah. yeah there could be no conflict when we allow the mind of god to be that our mind and it is the only mind so there we go that's that's what forgiveness brings us to atonement the feeling state of atonement yeah so did um I don't know where we are. Yeah, well, well before we do that, mm -hmm. um, what is the forgiveness process? I'm glad that you asked. You know, I have the sister Nook and she created this most amazing um, document. It's actually in her books. You will find our list of resources down in the comments below this video. And it's actually, it's not in the comments. Sorry to interrupt you, please forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive yourself. It's, 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 there. <laughs> it's over there. It's over there. <laughs> the whole YouTube thing is just. just what do you it, call that? The area not, below? The what? What do you call it? The area below? Not the comments. The is, area below this video is yeah. called the description. Description. In the description <laughs> below, you will find links. Uh, you will find a doc a link to a document which is a list of really wonderful resources and in those resources there is a link called the seven essential elements principles principles seven essential principles for quantum forgiveness yeah yeah, yeah. wow Thank Ooh, that's you. a mouthful but it, it is so, so good. I wanted you to say it not me <laughs> <laughs> I'd still be here in an hour oh okay we're doing really well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it takes you step by step through this loving process. I mean, really just holds you and takes you right from where you're triggered and you're really identifying with 
something in the gap and all the way down to, you know, accepting the atonement and bringing back the peace of God into your mind. Cannot recommend it enough. So take advantage of that. Yeah, especially that short prayer. Mm, you know, yeah. Every day I used to have that in my, in my pocket every day, you know, for the first few weeks until I got it, till it was burnt in my mind. And that is, you know, when we're triggered, Holy Spirit, please help me to forgive myself, mm -hmm. right, for having used my partner mm -hmm. or, you know, yeah. yeah, this pain or whatever it might be, mm -hmm. to attack myself and to separate from your love as my holy self. That's right. Very short prayer. It's so prayer. forgive me for using something in here to have an experience of not that. I want this more than I want that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Now that we've got that all clear. <laughs> okay. so, so is this you're up to uh, paragraph three? Yes. Of forgiveness is my function as the light of the world. That's right. Thank you. Remember that in every attack, you call upon your own weakness. While each time you forgive, you call upon the strength of Christ in you. Do you not then begin to understand what forgiveness will do for you? It will remove all sense of weakness, strain, and fatigue from your mind. It will remove all fear and guilt and pain. It will restore the invulnerability and power God gave his son to your awareness. Who doesn't want that? Wow. Let us be glad to begin and end this day by practicing today's idea and to use it as frequently as possible throughout. It will help to make the day as happy for you as God wants it to be. And it will help those around you as well as those who seem to be far away in space and time to share this happiness with you. Why is that? That's because we're, we're accessing the one unified mind of the Son of God. That's right. As we step up individually to be the light of the world through applying our forgiveness, um, we are sharing that light with every Son of God. Because, and so through forgiveness, we're surrendering this idea of private minds with private agendas and we're reunifying, we're allowing that one mind that we all have to be our mind. And so as we heal, it heals everyone. Okay, that's, that's really powerful too to think about. As often as you can, closing your eyes if possible, say to yourself, Forgiveness is my function as the light of the world. I would fulfill my function that I may be happy. Then devote a minute or two to considering your function and the happiness and release it will bring you. Let related thoughts come freely for your heart will recognize these words and in your mind is the awareness that they are true. Should your attention wander, repeat the idea and add, I would remember this because I want to be happy. <clears throat> yeah. Now, this is like, I think the first time he's bringing in the idea that um, our happiness lies exclusively mm -hmm. in forgiveness. Right? So not, not attaining accolades, not getting the A, not taking first place, not having a rip roar in body, not being tan, not uh, what? <laughs> having the, the perfect house, a sexy sports car. I forget, what else is there in the world that people go for? <laughs> a Jeep? A Jeep. <laughs> I want a Jeep. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, happy. Only forgiveness brings true happiness, true lasting happiness that's not predicated on fear. Nothing in the world is true happiness unless it's through our forgiveness, right? Because we can't achieve true happiness as much as we've spent 
lifetimes busting our ass on this. I mean, let's be honest. I want to be happy. I want to be happy right. through inappropriate means. It's mm -hmm. like this independent will. The ego believes that it can be happy at the expense of others being unhappy, you know? Yes. It's like um, it's an individual self-seeking thing. And we can't be happy through self-will. It's right. impossible. Through an independent will apart from God that thinks it knows its own best interests, it's impossible to be happy. Unless, it can be, unless it can be shared, it's not real. So ha real happiness has to be shared. So if someone has to lose or go without so that you can have that's fear, you know, calling itself happiness. I like what Jim Carrey said a while back. He said, if I could, I'd give everybody a million dollars so that they would recognize that there's nothing in the world that brings lasting happiness. You know, even those that seem to have it all are, are telling us this isn't it. You can check all the boxes and still feel like suicidal. I was there. Yeah, this world holds nothing that I want. There's nothing lasting. It's a big cheat. Mm. Thank you. Thank it's good you. to recognize that. Okay. So true happiness is through our forgiveness of illusions. Let's do it so we can be happy. Okay. And then we access the one will, the will of God. Then we know we are the beloved child of God, majestic beloved mm -hmm. child of God. We know our safety. We know our security. You know, we know our mm, innocence. Thank right. You. Yes, that's lasting happiness. That's true. Thank Thanks, everybody. Lesson 62, forgiveness is your function as the light of the world. Thank you. Thanks, Bye. everybody.